Hey there, it's Heather DeLuca here in the Sojo 1049 studio. The date is Wednesday, October 10th, 2018. Thank you for watching. Today is World Mental Health Awareness Day. It is a day, a subject I feel very passionate about given my own personal struggles with anxiety and depression that I disclosed to you all around this time last year. And I'm not really gonna focus on you know, my personal struggles again today, um, other than to say it did take me quite a long time to own up to the fact to others and to myself that I needed the help of a medical professional to sort of see me through something I couldn't control anymore on my own. I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to offer medical advice that's best left to your healthcare professional. Um, and I'm not here looking for you know, attention or sympathy, which is one of the stigmas that gets attached to, you know, mental health is those that aren't experiencing it themselves um, have a hard time understanding it when they see it coming from a friend or, you know, a loved one. They don't really know how to deal with it. Um, I'm just simply here to say to you on this World Mental Health Awareness Day that you are not alone. And I think my last video focused a lot on if you're someone who sees a friend, a loved one that, you know, may be struggling, you know, how to provide, you know, empathy for them, resources. And today it's more from a standpoint that if I'm catching you on a day or a certain place in your life right now where you're not exactly sure how to deal with maybe something that's going on in your in your mind, um, it could be more than just, you know, a stressful situation or feeling overwhelmed. Um, I can definitely say that prior to seeking out, you know, therapy um, and medication, frankly, the feeling of an anxiety attack for me felt like going up a mountain and then getting to like the peak of it felt like being in like a tornado and it only wasn't it wasn't until I came down the other side of the mountain and sort of looked back that I realized I, it sort of becomes like an outer body experience where I don't want to say you you black out but for me it almost felt like my brain was like going through some sort of seizure that I couldn't really recognize how bad it was until after the fact and that's when I knew you know I had to sit down and talk to somebody about my issues and you know if, if if you're someone you know who's dealing with anything from you think maybe attention deficit disorder to you know bipolar you're having these days where you just want to stay home and sleep all day long and you know I, I definitely encourage you to seek out someone to, to talk to a professional and there's like no shame in doing that there is no weakness in doing that. In fact, it's one of the most courageous and bravest things you can do for yourself. And if you don't think that you're ready to take the step of, you know, making the phone call, sitting down with, um, you know, a therapist or a counselor, uh, I love an app called Talkspace. This is like not a sponsored video, by the way, but um, it gives you the opportunity to sort of speak to a, a medical professional, a mental health specialist, um, right from your phone um, without the kind of overwhelming feeling it can be to like sit in a room with a stranger and start to, you know, hash out what your condition might be and, you know, how you got there. and. And uh, so I find that to be a, like a very safe space. Again, it's called Talkspace. Um, it's an app and I will certainly link that for you in the description box below. Um, here in South Jersey, there's a fantastic foundation called Spread the Love. Um, they're a nonprofit and they have a Facebook page and website. Uh, there are a tremendous amount of online resources. And more than that, I just want you to speak to somebody that you know and love that you know and loves that you know loves you pick that one person even if it's a coworker it might not be someone in your family i had a really difficult time sort of explaining all of this to my own parents and my husband and 
you know, you might just find that one person you didn't expect can, number one, talk you out of the space that you're in or, you know, be willing to help you through the process. Um, you are not alone. And if I can say anything else on this World Mental Health Awareness Day is that there really is no shame in asking for help. And, you know, I hope that you do. I wish you love and light. If there's anything you ever want to talk out you're dealing with issues similar to mine, um, you can always message me, email me. I'm, I'm on social media and I'm here for you. It's the network. It's the community of people that support each other. And knowing that, you know, there are a lot more people out there dealing with this than, than you might imagine. It's, it's not a thing that's spoken enough about. We focus on our physical fitness, you know, our, our health from, you know, the neck down but it all really starts here. And so again, I'm wishing you love and light, health and happiness, and more than anything, um, you know, the bravery to step forward and, and get the help that you need if you do. So have a fantastic day and, and share this, this video with friends and family, anyone you think it may be helpful to. Thanks for listening.